Okay, we're going to learn about the conjugation of the verb tener, which means to have. It's used to express possession. Um, we'll go through a little bit more of the uses later, but it's used generally to express possession and age and um, you, to say that you have physical attributes, like you have brown eyes or you have dark hair or, um, like I said, what, what age you have and things like that. And also to use in the phrase, I have to or you have to. Um, so the verb tener, as you can see, ends in an ER. So it's going to use these endings. So it's going to end in an O, an ES, an E, an Amos, Ace, and N. Um, tener is an irregular verb. It's regular for these two, tenemos and tenes. So those two is regular. You just take off the ER and you put on that ending and you're done. For the rest, it has an irregular format. For yo, it's tango. So it's tango. And then for two, for these three, you change the ten to tien. So it's tienes, tiene, and tienen. Um, and this is a pretty somewhat common format. These these three or these four will commonly have kind of the same spelling for that stem. So if this changes for one of these four, it's usually the same. Tener is kind of especially weird because it has an extra irregular on the yo form. Tengo. Um, so that's, again, the conjugation of the verb tener, which means to have. We'll go through it one more time. Yo tengo, tu tienes, el tiene, Ella tiene, usted tiene, nosotros tenemos, vosotros tenéis, ellos tienen, ellas tienen, ustedes tienen. That's it for the verb tener.